As we're joined by Kalani Sataki, the head coach at BYU. Uh, Kalani, what's your reaction to the initial rankings that have your has your team in number 14? Hey, great motivation for our guys. Love our team, love our players. I think we play a great brand of football with excitement and passion. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do and a lot to prove, obviously, and, and a short amount of time, and hopefully we can get that done. Uh, Gary Barta mentioned that they had been impressed with the way your team had played, but not necessarily the schedule. So you say you have a lot to prove. At the moment, you only have one game on the schedule with which to do it. What's the status with BYU trying to get another game, maybe against a Pac-12 team or potentially against Cincinnati? Yeah, we had an opportunity, you know, this week. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Washington and a lot of respect for the Pac-12 Conference. And, um, you know, we practiced yesterday. We had a, a great practice in, in hopes of playing Washington. Uh, we game planned and did all our meetings last night in the hopes of playing Washington. Our players uh, changed their – lost money and our, and our coaches lost money in changing their – there are schedules with the Thanksgiving coming up in the hopes of playing Washington. And so uh, it just didn't work out for whatever reason. But uh, there's this narrative out that we were hiding or, or ducking or waiting. Uh, and that's just not true. It's a false narrative. And I want to make sure everybody understands we're not afraid of anybody. We will respect everyone that we play. But we, there's no fear in this. But it's not anything unique to us. Uh, it's what makes college football great. Nobody's afraid of anybody. You know, uh, we're not afraid of Washington. They're not afraid of us. Uh, that's why we dedicate our lives to this game. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we, can, we can do it a lot. And to be honest with you, we have uh, two weeks left that are open, December 5th and December 19th, that we're willing to play football. And, uh, you know, if there's anybody that are actually have an availability to play those games, we would love to do it. Okay, I want to touch on something you said. Why didn't the Washington game work out from your perspective? Well, it wasn't because we were scared, that's for sure. You know, uh, <laughs> it was because things didn't work out. We practiced yesterday. We were ready for this game. Nobody was more frustrated and disappointed than our players and our, and our coaches. And so we were looking forward to this game. It just didn't work out for whatever reason. I don't want to get into the specifics of it, but I respect Washington. I respect that the Pac-12 conference. They have to make decisions that's best for them. We have to make decisions that are best for us. Uh, we've been committed to playing football from the very beginning. We've asked, you know, our, our original schedule, we were excited to play football with the, with the depth and the type of team that we have. And, uh, you know, it, it, it got disrupted. And I'm thankful that we were able to get nine games in. Kalani, you know the reality of the situation. I mean, people talk about the committee and the Power Five. You know, you're not a group of five. You are an independent school. It, it still feels like you're on the outside looking in before the season even starts. You played the game. You know how BYU or Utah before they joined the Pac-12 and Boise State and UCF, how they're viewed. How good is this football team with a quarterback that you have, the physicality at the line of scrimmage on both sides, the experience? How good? You know football really well. How good is this team? I think we're a really good team. You know, I, I understand the position that the, the committee is in. It's a difficult year. It's hard to, to, to determine a, a team that's played nine games to a team that's played three. And, and I don't envy their position. I just, I'm going to fight for our boys. I believe in our team. I believe in our depth. Uh, from the very beginning going into this season, we were really excited about their depth on this team. Uh, we've been stricken with COVID as well. We just, uh, we don't talk about it. You don't see that we've been, We've had to deal with depth in a lot of different position groups, and we just play football without missing a beat. And we play great complementary football, whether it's on offense, defense, or special teams. We do a great job. And then I, I understand there's a lot of great teams out there, but man, I, I think we're an exciting bunch to watch. Highest ranked group of five champion gets a spot in a New Year's Six Bowl. You are not in that mix, but you are certainly eligible uh, to be an at-large team in a New Year's Six Bowl. What would, a, what would a New Year's Six game that brought the BYU Cougars in be getting against, uh, say, a Power Five opponent, for instance? We're just so thankful to play football. And in a time where, um, you know, with the pandemic, uh, we're, we're, we're thankful to be in this position and appreciate everything that we have. Uh, you know, if, if there's there are games that come available, uh, we played nine already, and 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 I'm I'm thankful for conferences like the Sun Belt Conference, Conference USA, um, the American Conference, and the Mountain West for accommodating us and allowing us to play them. Um, so we feel fortunate to play those games. Uh, we, we still want to play a lot of football. We we have open dates. We were looking to fill them, and then and we want to see our guys get out there and play. And if we enjoy the game, I'm not really focused on where we end up in in, in the. Uh, you know, in, in the bowl games and things like that. We're just trying to focus on trying to get the next game. Right now at San Diego State, and hopefully we can get something else. Kalani, we really appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for being so candid with us, and uh, we wish you luck in trying to schedule games and in playing them the rest of the season. Guys, everyone, happy Thanksgiving. 
Give thanks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.